Oh boy, one of my sports fans, Mike Kretz here. Very happy Thursday to you, made even happier with the official opening of Stoker Stadium for 2022. Our first football game it featured a team that looked to be on the up and up. Grand Junction taking on Glenwood Springs. Let's get you out there right now. Junction coming in, fired up after putting up 22 points on Pueblo West last week tonight, trying to put it all together defensively. A nice start to the game for the Tigers. Glenwood second set of downs, third and seven. Glenwood's QB gets six. Nice early stand for the Tigers offensively, not the start. Junction scripted Dominic Carver Martinez had a strong first half had a strong game it's the first play from scrimmage sees the ball on the turf demons force a turnover and looking to capitalize last second pitch from Joaquin Sandoval to Mason Markovich heavy footsteps rolling towards the end zone uh, Logan Segret makes a last ditch stop and that would be important because on first and goal the ball gets away Segret recovers Tigers dodge a bullet and start to go to work utilizing the quick pass a lot tonight but again early in the drive the demons would force another turnover just prying away at the last second but again the Tigers kind of make a stand in the red zone fourth and goal the demons forced to just well yeah throw it away and here comes the tigers this time it's carver martinez running right up the gut for a big time game looked like the drive might stall out fourth and five but after a timeout the tigers go to carver martinez follows his blocks and yes that is more than five tigers still driving and watch the effort from tanner Rorick. Uh, nice effort from the block there on the sideline now Rorick turns on the jets dives for the pile on the stretch it is good for six. Tigers get on the board first, seven nothing after the extra point and on the kickoff. Boy, you think these young men aren't ready to hit somebody? A nice shot there, followed up by Glenwoods Markovic. Yeah, not shying away from contact as we go into the second quarter where Sandoval is back there just directing traffic, decides to take off, finds a couple blocks downfield and picks up big time yards. It has to be said, this was a nice drive. This time, Sandoval lets it go to Reese McMillan. Demons pick up 25 yards quick on this play. And this time, it's uh, handing it off to Jarek Sorensen. He gets it down to the one yard line in the drive. It's going to well, it's going to get capped off with a little pitch and catch. Sandoval finds McMillan open in the end zone right there, 7-7 after the extra point. And it has to be said, it looks like the Tigers are going to answer right back. Have a look at the run here from Carver Martinez. Spins out of the tackle, gets to use his speed on the sideline. I see coaches uh, that would happily suit back up if they could, but ultimately the drive would stall out, giving the Demons one last shot before the half, and it's a shot they take. Sandoval again finds McMillan, this time open in the middle of the field. Demons say, we're going to leave you with something special. A nice throw and a really nice catch. That was Sorensen with the grab. A missed extra point makes it 13-7. Glenwood Springs at the half. Let's get you to that scoreboard. And here you go. Junction tied it up in the fourth. Got the overtime score and hung on. Tigers matched last season's win total in just two games. Like I said, the trajectory is 